A woman named Terry and her son Wyatt, who's five, were recently robbed. And I, I was just stunned by this story. And I hate it when things happen that are just so unfair to people, to good people. And these are folks who've done nothing wrong. Wyatt has a genetic skin disorder, and he's missing a layer of skin that regulates body temperature. And well, I'm going to talk. They're both here. I'm so glad you guys are here. Thank you for being here. Hey, how's it going? Nice to meet you. So, so explain Wyatt's condition. Um, Wyatt has a genetic disorder called ichthyosis. Um, basically, there's one in 250 people born with ichthyosis every day. But the problem is, is that some cases are very mild, like just dry skin, and mm -hmm. some cases are extremely severe. And, and when it's really warm out, he has to wear a vest. Because he cannot control his body temperature. So he, he has a vest that cools him right. in, in warm it temperatures. Has, it has ice packs. It has ice packs in it that we keep in the freezer. Uh -huh. um, we, had a, we have a backpack that I use for him when we go back. We spend a lot of time back and forth going to Children's Hospital in Philadelphia. Right. Um, and we keep the ice packs in the freezer, and then we keep the vest in his backpack in the car with his vest, his DVD <laughs> And your dog Pluto. Yeah. He's my favorite dog. He's your favorite He's dog? Yeah. Well, this is Molly. She's one of my favorite dogs, too. But I like Pluto a lot, too. Yeah. Have you watched Mickey Mouse? Of course I've watched a Mickey Mouse. I love Mickey Mouse. Is Pluto your favorite on Mickey Mouse? Yeah. Yeah. Pluto's well, pretty cool. Is, it Pluto, is Pluto your favorite or Mickey Mouse your favorite? They're both my favorite. Yeah. They're both my favorite. <laughs> so the reason you, you made headlines recently is the, you were st had the vest in your car. Right. And somebody stole. The whole backpack. The whole backpack right. with Wyatt's vest. Yes. Right. So he has no, the vest, he, his vest, which he needs every day to control his body temperature, they took it. Yep. And you're now, you have a vest that I think his, you, you had when he was two years old. Yeah, we did a fundraiser when he was two years old to raise money to get him his first vest. Uh -huh. And it's from when he was two, so it's very small. Doesn't this, really fit. <laughs> when, when you, I mean, when you realized someone had stolen his vest, what did you? I mean, the, it just when I read this, it just made my blood boil. I was, I was frustrated. I looked at my husband. I'm like, we're done. I said, we can't, we can't afford to get another one. Um, we just, we had just done a beef and beer over the summer um, to try to and raise, raise money. to try and raise money because his medical expenses are killing us, oh. and we actually lost five hundred dollars on it because oh. we had so many people that said they were going to come. We got all the food and, and stuff, they and they, nobody came. Well, we, we wanted to know what we could do. We reached out. There's a company called Techno Niche. When they heard your story, um, they wanted to help. They are going to donate a cooling vest for <gasps> life for Wyatt. So Yay! for the rest of his life, he's going to get a cooling vest. If he loses it, if he outgrows it, they're going to give him a new one. So I hope that helps. That's great. Thank all you right. so much. All right. We wish you the best, Wyatt. <laughs>